officially welcome uh, uh, George to uh, Sarnia. I'd like to uh, thank everybody for coming out. To thank Jim for representing the city. Tony's here representing Rumada Hotel. And we want to thank him because he, he provided a room uh, last night when George first arrived here in the city. George uh, first got a hold of us uh, back in the spring to tell us about this exciting idea of traveling across Ontario in order to uh, raise awareness and, and, and education about organ transplants. And, and he chose to use the Y MCAs and local communities as a medium to introduce the communities and asked if we wanted to be involved. And uh, of course, uh, that was a no-brainer. He said immediately that we wanted to be involved. And uh, we got to, I got to talk to George a few times and know that he's very passionate about uh, uh, about this whole subject, as I'm sure you'll hear in a little while from him. And, uh, and we decided that, yes, we wanted to be an important part of this. And then we got a hold of somebody that I didn't introduce here, David Tolley from uh, the Sarnia, Oregon Donors Awareness Group, and uh, shared the idea with them. And we thought it was a good idea for him to us to get involved too as well. So uh, welcome, David, and thank you for being here. So, without further ado, let me bring up Jim Thompson and uh, Jim Fulvester to welcome uh, George on behalf of... Thank you, Tony. Well, George, um, we're going to get the official part of this out of the way very quick. I'm uh, real proud to be here representing uh, not only Mayor Bradley and City Council, but most importantly, the people of the City of Sarnia to welcome you here. I uh, wish you Godspeed on the rest of your trip. I uh, congratulate you on what, you, uh, what you're doing and raising this awareness. And uh, just uh, as an, a little aside for yourself, uh, let me tell you, I know exactly uh, uh, what uh, the value of the awareness that you're doing uh, is doing for the people of Canada. Because uh, in another life, uh, as a uh, national chairman of a children's charity, uh, I've met and I've hugged and I've been hugged by an awful lot of young people uh, whose, uh, whose lives have been enhanced and have been extended by uh, uh, organ uh, donor awareness. Uh, but by the same token, I've also met hugged and been hugged by some children who didn't make it because there weren't organs available. So what you're doing uh, is the greatest uh, thing that can be done. I want you to know, and I'm going to show you the signature, my card is signed. And I guess if, I, if there's any message to anybody uh, out here, meet with your family, uh, you know, talk about organ donors, awareness and, uh, and uh, donating organs. And yeah, go ahead, sign that card that's with your uh, driver's license. It can be the greatest thing that, that you can do uh, for humanity and, and you can leave a lasting legacy. So, again, welcome. To all of us. We've got a couple of things here for you. I know that you'll probably go through a lot of t-shirts. This is our Sarnia 2000 shirt. Uh, there's some mementos here from Sarnia. So, carry on. Godspeed to you and all of that. Thank you very much. We'll turn, turn it over to you just a minute. Let me bring David Tolley up just to officially welcome you on behalf of the Sarnia Organs. Congratulations, George. Thank you very much. Uh, you're doing a fantastic job. Um, our, our association of Sarnia has really been developed to raise the awareness level for the need for organs. I think what you're doing is fantastic. You're getting uh, a lot more media coverage than we are, and you're getting it free. What can be better than that? Uh, there's, with the number of people right now waiting for organs in Ontario, we're obviously it looks like we're losing the battle of getting people informed, but I think we're the more... In my job, the most interesting individuals and the most rewarding people, and I was most impressed with George and what he's trying to accomplish. I have a cousin who has had three kidney transplants, so in our family I have a pretty good idea of what an individual goes through and what George is trying to accomplish, so it, it, it sort of... It means something to me also, George. So on behalf of the Y and health and fitness and us healthy people that work out every day and have that benefit of being healthy, we should be very, very thankful. And we're very thankful to George to be able to create this awareness so other people who don't have the benefit of good health can eventually become like some of the people here and be very healthy and productive and loving citizens and all that neat kind of stuff. So welcome to the Y. And we have a couple of t-shirts here. Now that the weather's getting cold, we figure we don't want to freeze on your way to Windsor, I believe you're going. Can't strip anymore, no? Where are you going? You know, well, sometimes you Great fundraiser. <laughs> anyhow, <laughs> a couple of sweatshirts, Y sweatshirts for you for you and Joe. And thank you very much. I want to 
thank everybody for coming here. I'm glad that Tony did mention everybody because I remember uh, uh, the last press conference, I, I forgot one group and I just felt so bad, you know. Uh, so I want to really veto everybody uh, that he uh, thanked for being here uh, today. And uh, I want to especially uh, just take this moment to acknowledge the YMCA's part. Because uh, it's just been phenomenal, incredible, and it, 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 it's, it's really been effective in reaching the heart of each community that we pass through. And you know, while I was uh, going from YMCA to YMCA, everybody kept saying, when are you going to get to Sarnia? Because, uh, you know, I kept talking about, well, we have a really nice facility here, and he said, wait till you get to Sarnia. And I, I must have heard that from hundreds of people. And, and you know what? I got here and this is a beautiful place. <laughs> I mean, this is this is just great. Uh, I, I, Joe, you got to make sure you get shots of every part of the building. Uh, it just blew my whole footage. <laughs> uh, I want to also share uh, some of the things that, some of the uh, conclusions, more or less, that we've been arriving to as, as we've been going from community to community on our track to, to uh, keep here. Our voice gets stronger like this. The rest of Canada is looking at this and they feel more comfortable with the spirit of the board of transportation. So, step by step, we'll get there. Thank you very much.